before and then I'll be reading the questions and saying whether or not you got it correct or incorrect. Okay? Ready. <clears throat> Woo! Fun. Give me a thumbs up if you're good. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, Jeff, want to go ahead and pick the next category in the point value? Yeah, I'll do uh, party time for 50 points because <laughs> it's a good thing to go home. <laughs> Which chamber member catered the 2019 chamber member appreciation picnic? I don't remember that. Oh, Eileen Weir. Ooh. Um, I think it was... Oh my gosh, the barbecue place up Dickie's Barbecue. Ooh, that was such a good guess because they used to do it, but it wasn't in 2019. Uh, but it was barbecue. <laughs> you were close. Yes. Okay, so I gave everybody a hint. <laughs> okay, Bar Barbara Langley was second. You have to unmute yourself. I don't remember what year it is. <laughs> it is still 2020, right? <laughs> Barbara, we didn't hear what you said. I think I said you need a little barbecue joint. It was not a little barbecue joint, but a good guess. Next up is the Jeff Hurst. I believe it was Taylor with Zarda. Ding, ding, ding. We have a winner. Chris, nice. award him 50 points, please. I want to buy a vowel and <laughs> go to name that company for 10. Which independent trash company can be found on Nolan, I mean Truman Road? Eileen Weir buzzed in first. Ted. Ding, ding, ding. We have a winner. Mayor <laughs> Weir gets 10 points. I think she's going toward the positive now. Yep. <laughs> I like to motivate myself by... Yeah, running from the home. Um, I what's the purple category, Morgan? I can't see my screen is covering it up. Slogans and marketing. Also, I should clarify that these are all directly tied to chamber members and independents. Okay. I'm gonna go for uh be there or be squared for 50. Wait a minute, hang on, hold everything. I don't, my button's not clear. All right, sometimes, it, oh. What is the name of the house which was renovated into an Airbnb by Square One Homes? Jeff Hurst, first to buzz in. Secret Service House? Was that one also? I think we were going for something different. That's my guess. I believe Square One Homes is uh, Trevor Tilton's company, not Austin Conley's. It, it is. It is. Uh, Mateo was number two. That was my guess, too. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Anybody else have a guess? Mayor Weir. Uh, Uptown House. Yes, correct. Oh. So, Jeff, I had the same question about whether or not that was, um, they were both done by them, but I, but Trevor Tilton and Amanda Tilton are the ones that own Square One Homes, and they did the Uptown House, and I'm sure they helped Austin with the Secret Service House, but they didn't, technically their company didn't do it. Yeah, okay, I have no clue. Half the points. <laughs> okay, so Mayor Weir, what's next? I'll do B there or B squared for 40. Oh, oh no! <laughs> Square I got it. I got it. Yeah. I got it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Let's what? do that one over again. The question was, what is the name of the annual okay. event held in the farmer's market to benefit the ISA? Which I'm sure you all would have known. Mayor Weir, do you want to go to 30 or you want to do yeah. a different category? No, let's go to 30. Hold on. Let me, my button needs to clear. Okay, I, I reset you. you it does take a second to reset. Okay. Here we go. Hold on. Which chamber member has a resource for entrepreneurs called Square One Small Business Services? Jeff Hurst was first. Is that Mid-Continent uh, Public Library? Hey, there you go. Yes, that's correct. 
Extra points for Morgan Perry? <laughs> nope. <laughs> All right. What's next, Jeff? Slogans and marketing for 10. Okay. Let's see what I put in here. Whose slogan is live well, leave well, and can be found on many billboards in the KC metro area? Jeff Hurst. That would be Speaks Chapel. Jeff, I don't like Heck. how you are on this draw. Say that again, Jeff Carpenter. <laughs> no, I just, like, whenever you say, you say Jeff, I'm like, ah, yes, I got it. Oh, dang it, Jeff. <laughs> Slogans and marketing for 20. Which re retailer has a company motto, we all live downstream? Jeff Hurst. Is that Duluth? Ooh, great guess, but no. You're in the- Gary business. Sheridan. Bass Pro? Yes, correct. Bass Pro Shops. Um, party time for 40. That's my kind of category. This independence business has offered floral arrangements and gifts for special occasions since 1974. Eileen Weir. Alyssa's. Yes. And to be clear, Alyssa's flowers, fashion, and interiors. They're always very clear about their full name. What's next? Oh, uh, I'll go uh, back in time for 50. Okie dokie. The historic Truman Courthouse. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Tom, it you bounced, got clicked. It, it, yeah, it's bouncing past the yeah question, so okay it, so there was a photo of the courthouse way back when i can't even remember okay. early and it was yeah oh. named the famous structure and okay. it's the historic truman courthouse but in the photo it was captioned the independence courthouse so i would have taken both answers okay well let's go to back in time for 40. which famous fugitive was housed in the 1859 jail Jeff Carpenter. That's uh, Jesse James. Oh, very close. Good guess, but no. Frank James. Frank. <laughs> Fudge. Amy, Amy Cox. Well, then I'm going to say Frank James. There you go. Or Rick James. Either one. <laughs> I'm going to say Rick a lot. The James brother. <laughs> I feel like we should ask Chris. Chris, do you think that they should split those points? <laughs> or Amy should get the full amount. No, so give them to Amy. I messed up. <laughs> I think Amy gets them. Jeff shouldn't have shouted out the right answer. <laughs> All right. Bob. <laughs> yeah, give the points to Bob, Chris. Okay. <laughs> I want you to know I've had all the answers, but I don't know how to use chat. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Oh my gosh, funny. Okay. All right. What is next? Who got it? Amy. Um, party time 30. In which conference center will you find the water, fire, and earth rooms? Oh, my yeah, first. Yeah. Tony Cooper <laughs> Hotel and Conference Center, Independence. <laughs> how, how suitable that you would know that. I was totally second on that. I, I just know I was. <laughs> I was ready. <laughs> what okay. is not working? Slogans and marketing for 30. <laughs> Which independence church is a church for those who have given up on the idea of church? This is Mayor Weir. I'm going to say Church of the Four Corners. Yep, you're correct. Ooh. It's the very first thing on their website, too. I'm very really aesthetically that, that, that appealing website. Totally wrong. Okay, it's um, my, okay. Um, let's go be there, be squared for 20. Okay. Which retailer on the square is managed by students in the Independent School District Academies program? Jeff Carpenter. You're muted. Oh, you're Jeff muted. Carpenter, you're muted. But you got it. Everything Independence. Oh, not quite. <laughs> you're always so close, but not quite there. Mayor Weir. All things Independence. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm I'll give you your right 20. I'll, I'll Venmo you your 20 in a minute. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it, man. All right, Jeff. Uh. Pay attention now. 
Be there, be square for 10. Where on the Independent Square did President Truman work in his youth? Mayor Weir. Clinton's drugstore. Soda fountain. Oh, is it is it the drugstore? It was the drugstore. Now it's called Clinton's Soda Fountain. So. Okay, I should have just put Clinton's. <laughs> you got it. Okay. Wow, our mayor is killing it. Well, you know, I sort of have an advantage. I would hope so. Thing about the city. <laughs> All right, let's try name that company for 50. Okay, going big. What company owns Ben and Jerry's ice cream and also operates a manufacturing facility in Independence? Jeff Hurst. Is that uh, Unilever? Yes, correct. Good work. Good job. Jeff's giving our mayor a run for her money. Slogans for 40. Not Jeff Carpenter, to be clear. <laughs> which, <laughs> which hotel chain has had both slogans travel happy and the extras aren't extra? Jeff Hurst. Jury. Yes, correct. Oh, good. Slogans 50. Yeah, Hold I didn't on. know that one, actually. Which chamber member has this image as their Facebook cover image? He stalked our Facebooks. <laughs> It has a little bit of a hint. Come on, someone could guess. Medley Dental. Mayor Weir. Wait, I think Bob got it, didn't he? Uh, yeah. 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 Medley. <laughs> okay. Smiles. Yeah, Medley Smiles. Yeah. Medley Smiles. Yes, that's correct. Okay. Does Bob get to pick the category now? Yeah. Sure. Okay, name that company for 40. Which company provides tenting for the largest Labor Day festival in our region? Ooh, what, what festival could that be? <laughs> Jeff Hurst. Is that Marquee Event Rentals? Yes, wow. <laughs> I think Jeff has Google up. I think Jeff's like writing the checks for Santa Caligon. <laughs> I think Jeff was on the committee that had the questions. There's only so many companies in this region that could provide that many tents, so it was really just a process of elimination. Bob, the committee to make up these questions was a committee of one. It was just me. Okay. <laughs> so good. I e good. E either sorry or you're welcome. <laughs> Jeff, what's next? Name the company for 20. Okay. Which packaging company will you need to go underground to visit? Mayor Weir. <laughs> Mayor, Mayor Weir, Bob is incorrect. Okay, I was going to say Bird and Fletcher. Correct. What did Bob say? Bennett. Packaging. Bennett packaging. I not remember. I've been trying to sell them for years. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You need to reset my button. Oh, sorry. Uh, Hold on. Got it? Okay. Yep. All right. I'm going to go... Back in time for 30. Which historical independence site typically holds the annual strawberry festival? Mayor Weir. Dale Mansion. Correct. <laughs> wow, you really did come back from behind. <laughs> okay, what's next? Let's finish it up back in time for 20. Which research center should you visit to find information about your family history? Jeff Hurst. Midwest Genealogy Center. Correct. Okay, Jeff, are we partying or are we naming the company? We're gonna name the company for 30. Okay. Which company whose headquarters is in Independence has partnerships with Navistar, Rush Enterprises, and Volvo North America? a very elaborate question I came up with here. Maybe it should have been worth 50. Yeah. <laughs> Jeff Hurst. Is Jeff that Cable, Cable Dahmer? Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm feeling totally responsible for this being a confusing question. Can I, it Can I try? Sure. Um, I'm going to say, hmm, I'm going to say Chrysler. 
No, I think I led you guys astray. It's not really a I car. I got this company. one, Morgan. I think yeah. I got this one. Yeah, you probably do. It's truck movers. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. Sarah Beth is married to a truck movers employee. And I just want to point out earlier the question that I had on party time about Zarda. I wanted to put which chamber member catered the most recent staff chamber staff wedding and it was Zarda mm -hmm. and Tom would not let me because he was like why would anyone know that so why would anyone not know that <laughs> right <laughs> anyway everyone, so, who was there, everyone who was there raised their hand <laughs> <laughs> yeah. okay I was, there. <laughs> <laughs> I was pretty right. much there yeah you were pretty um, much there all right, Sarah Beth, which, which number are we doing in party time? Oh, let's do 20. Okay. Which historical estate can you host weddings and parties in either the main site or the carriage? Mayor Wagner. Mayor Weir. Bob Wagner. That's correct. Okay. <laughs> Bob, you're funny. Okay, I think we're closing up the last one, right? Here we go. Where in Independence can you find a ropes course, laser tag, bowling, and a full restaurant? Main event. Jeff Hurst. <laughs> Main event. <laughs> yep. Jeff Hurst, Jeff Hurst was in first. <laughs> Bob, you were supposed to keep quiet. <laughs> well, help that, him that. that's the only way I know to participate. I didn't <laughs> want to be dead last. I gotcha. <laughs> I'm dead last. <laughs> dead last, Bob. Lori, were you able to buzz in at all? I, I buzzed several times. I knew the answer, but I wasn't fast enough. Jeff was just click happy, I think. Yeah. <laughs> and the um, mayor. <laughs> <laughs> so Chris is, is tallying up our points, I think. Um, Chris, do you have, should we do a third, second, first? All right. Well, okay. we actually have a tie for first. No way. Oh, I guess I I probably know who it is. Yeah, you probably know who it is. Yeah. <laughs> who was second? Um, Amy Cox. Okay. Oh, okay. Amy Cox. So I'm guessing first was Mayor Weir and Jeff Hurst. You are correct. Well, congratulations, Jeff and our mayor. You know a lot about independence, apparently, and chamber members. Um, I think that we have prizes, but I can't remember what they were. Also, I'm not sure if we should do like a um, tiebreaker. A runoff. <laughs> I think we can both. I think they can share the title. Um, okay. Everyone's getting uh, top three are getting McLean Company gift cards, so you can enjoy. Enjoy spending money on the square. 